Hey there everybody, so this is going to be a quick little tutorial on how to install the mod folder switcher for FS25. So obviously Mr. Dijonet has now officially released it. Um, it will be posted on his Trello at some point, but right now um, there will be a external link in the video down below for you to be able to go over and download it. So once you clicked on the link, it will obviously download it into your download folder. So if I bring this over across, this is basically what you'll see in your download folder. So there's two ways to do this part. Some people have stated that you'll need to unzip this folder. Others have said that being able to just double click onto it, go into the folder and run the program that way. So I'm going to try it with the folder zips I've always had success doing it that way but if you've had an issue in the past or during this installation give it a try both ways basically so all you literally have to do is double click on here that will then open up the folder and then from here what you want to do is run this setup right here application so just double click on that give it a moment and we should get up a little blue screen. Doop -doop -doop -doop. There we go. So once you get this popping up, whether you have had to keep the folder zipped or unzipped, it's good. It means that it should install onto your computer fine. Now, obviously, currently the reason why this is showing is because obviously there's no license still currently available for the mod folder switcher by Dijonet due to finances and stuff like that but yeah it is a fully trusted tested program by a lot of people obviously it's been used back in fs19 prior to that um we had different things but very similar program fs22 and obviously now again here so yeah i fully trust the hash net um so i am going to install it so all you literally have to do is click on the more info right here and then run anyway. So you'll come to this folder, uh, this um, uh, screen should say, just click on install. Obviously I'm installing this onto my C drive, which is where the game settings file is. And obviously if you get this pop up, all you have to do is click on okay, go to documents, uh, my games, can see it there for a sec and then fs25 that is it just don't click on any of these others once you've just selected that fs25 there or farm 25 click ok and you're done it is now installed onto your computer and you should be good to go so let's close this down right from here and obviously there we go we now have the little icon on my desktop so that's good so that is now linked to the game now the only thing that it's going to look for is obviously that game settings xml so you can use the mod folder switcher to change certain settings in game which we'll get to in a little while so the best thing to do and is highly recommended is to create your own folders same as 22 same as 19 and any earlier versions and then run any specific maps and mods from those folders. So it's really simple to do. So just right click your mouse, go to new or create new, and then folder. Obviously you want to name it whatever you want. It could be a specific map or you could for right now, I'd probably just say FS22 mods. And obviously this can actually be located anywhere on your system. If you have multiple drives, you can put it on your C drive, your D drive, E drive, whichever drive you have, as long as you link it correctly, which is what we'll get to in a minute, to the mod folder switcher, you should be fine. So yeah, for this demonstration, I'm just going to call it FS25 oop, mods, just like that. Something simple, something that you know will be able to find later on. Now, once you've got that folder set up, what you want to do is click on one of these buttons right here where it says select folder. Click on that. Now, the easiest way to connect it is just to hold and drag and drop the folder into this little window right here. And as you can see right here, it's automatically um, pathed it 
to the folder obviously it's going to be on my desktop and also it's taken the name of that mod folder that you created and put it automatically in there from there you can actually go in change the button color the text color obviously you get a nice little preview same as previously um, we're just going to go with a bit of red and yellow I think for this time um, once you're happy with the preview just click here when you're finished and that is pretty much the only thing I will say every now and again when you first load up after installing it may not necessarily recognize that that's the folder it's selected so what I would recommend is just double click on the default folder there at the top and then double click back onto that new button that you've created so from there you should now be able to load up the game and it will recognize it from that folder so we're just going to do a quick test make sure that this loads up now we'll just move that out of the way for a sec obviously we're going to load up fs25 for this little demonstration so there we go obviously if i come into here click through that i'll see right now i should not have any mods installed apart from what, any dlcs and such but yeah that looks good to me so if we go back out of the game now I do have another folder where I've been doing a few mods myself. We'll take one of these. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba, yeah, we'll take that one because that's one I've been working on at the minute. <laughs> if anybody's caught my streams, I kind of showed that off the other day. Um, so this is the folder. We'll drop a copy in that, and then what we'll do is we'll load up the game just to make sure that that folder is correctly passed here we go we we'll just click through this we'll go back into download content we'll go to what's installed and there it is right there so I can now confirm that that folder that we created or I created there is now linked correctly to the game obviously if you find that no mods show up you may just want to go back out make sure the game is fully shut down first okay before doing any of this installing and setting up the mod folder switcher but yeah just maybe select the default folder again click back onto the folder that you created the button and you should be good to go very few people have issues once they get it going so with that sorted out which we'll to bring this over so obviously with this version obviously visually the mod folder switcher has now been updated to have this lovely gold looking color mr dajnet has gone through the coding while he was updating this to make it uh, work a lot smoother than previous versions which is very cool the nice thing is you don't have to shut this down it will automatically save any settings which is really kind of cool before you load up the game so I know a lot of people previously have had issues with that it not recognizing it's kind of been fixed now so right so just quickly what now that that is set up that should get you going a few other things just want to cover so obviously if you click, click on the main menu also you can open up that current folder so right from right here as you can see there you go there's the mod folder switcher so if you want to find your folder quickly that is an easy way of doing it if you have an issue with the game and you want to see your log for example you can just click on the next one down and obviously that is then oh got to open up on another screen um open up this little thing right here maybe get an update at some point so this isn't showing constantly on top so but maybe with the next version that will get fixed but yeah you can literally see your log straight there and obviously from there you can then search for any warnings or errors um, obviously you can if you wanted to um, back up your folder to somewhere else on your system as well um, haven't really done too much with that recently but maybe give it a try obviously if you're in a server as well you can actually download the mods from the server direct obviously it's quite simple just click on this all you need to do is add in your IP port for your server or whoever's server you're on add it in there and then you can actually just click on download folder from the server right here and it'll go into your mod folder it's a very simple little thing very few people have had issues with that as well what Dajnet has done as well as you can see right here in the next one 
you can actually launch the game now from the mod folder switcher. It is literally that simple. What you'd need to do is go to wherever your game is installed. Uh, da, 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 I believe it should be this PC, C drive, program file 86, and then FS25. And I believe it's 64. Actually, it might just be that one. We'll click on that, and hopefully, that will find the game and launch it. Let's see if this does or not. I haven't actually tested this out. This is the live. So, we'll see. Yep. There we go. So, it's actually launching the game from the Waterfall Switcher. So, just make sure that you get the path correct. Obviously, if you're using the Steam version, you may need to look at where it is being saved. And then, obviously, put it there. Link it to there. So, obviously, that is going to be the main menu. Obviously, we, we do have a few settings that you can play around with as well. Obviously, game settings-wise, as per, per before, obviously, you can change a lot of these things. So, um, if you wanted to, you can go through, change all of these if you really, really wanted to. The main one I tend to go for is changing the motor stop time. Obviously, base game is, there's I don't know, about 30 sec uh, minutes, roughly. You can actually set it a little bit higher if you wanted to. Also, if you color blind as well, this is a really good way of changing it automatically without trying to go through all the menus, trying to find the color blind mode. But yeah, there's a lot of settings in there. You can go through quite easily and change things if you really wanted to. Now, obviously, one of the big things a lot of us use is the d developer controls that are in game. That allows you to see the log for your warnings and errors when the game is loaded, rather than having to tab out, go to f go find your um, log file. To, d to activate it, obviously, you can come into here, click on obviously developer controls. You get this little window pop up, and make sure it's enabled. Sometimes when you first load up, maybe just deselect it and then reselect it and that should enable it obviously once that is loaded you'll then be able to load up the game hit the tilde key which is the key underneath the escape key and then that will actually show your log so that's that and then obviously if you want to reset your paths you could do personally i don't think, don't think you'd want to but yeah once they're linked you should be fine so, in addition to that, Dagenet has gone in and added, obviously, a few additional links. So, if you wanted to donate to him, there's a link there that will take you over to his um, donation site. Obviously, his Kofi as well. A great way to support him. Um, obviously, it allows him to get more of the revenue. So, yeah, definitely do that. And also, with the Kofi subscription as well, you'll also gain access to a special um, channel within the SGA Discord where you can actually go in and actually see him modding when he's not live. It's really kind of cool. And obviously, if you want to ask questions, sometimes he may answer, sometimes it depends on how full the room is. But yeah, it is a good way of supporting Mr. Dajnet. Obviously, um, another way to support Mr. Dajnet as well is obviously downloading various games and DLCs using his partner code. Obviously you've got all the FS25 stuff right there, ready to rock and roll. Obviously if you're still playing FS22, you have everything available. And obviously this will automatically add his partner code when you go to the checkout. It's very, very cool. And obviously he's got all his FS19 stuff there too. So that's that is quite nice. Obviously there is a link that will take you over to the Sim Game Alliance website right here. Obviously, this is the Trello. This is what we're currently using. Obviously, you've got Dagenet Mods right here. Let me pull this out of the way for a sec. Um, if you wanted to find his mods, or Dagenet's mods, or any of the other members, just click on their initial image, then click on Mods by that person, so Dagenet in this case. Obviously, Right here, we should be seeing, obviously, the mod folder switch is being added, plus any maps when they come out by Mr. Dagenet and mods. Obviously, right now, we do have all of his previous um, maps and mod packs there for previous games for downloading. 
obviously these are all now final versions there won't be any more updates plus obviously you do have the odd mod for old mod full switches if you're still playing which does come and help that is for sure right and so the final thing is obviously there is a sim game alliance discord that you can join you just literally click on this button it will open up your browser take you to the sga discord obviously when you go there let me do this actually live while i'm here we'll just accept that invite obviously i'm already a member so it's not a biggie uh da -da 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 -da. um when you get into discord actually i don't want the app so we'll close that we'll continue this in the browser version which luckily i've got bookmarked obviously you come into here obviously i do have some other others obviously first of all you come to the welcome screen obviously you won't see any of these other channels open what you will need to do is come to the rules and information if you haven't done this already um just read through all of these when you're happy with all the rules make sure that you select this button right here and obviously depending on what games you play as well i would recommend definitely the farm sim one if you play that definitely because that's going to open most of them but also we do have uh, truck sim fishing planet and arc personally i would make sure that all of these are selected so you can see loads of new information along the way i'm not going to go too far down because obviously there is people streaming out there live when i'm doing this video on twitch so <laughs> and youtube actually thinking about it but yeah make sure you get all of these selected and you'll be able to then start commenting there is about a 10 minute period till you get um access to actually start chatting but you should be all good to go once that period is done now with that being said that is going to be it for today hopefully there's going to be some more tutorials later on when mr dajnet does start putting out his map so i know there's a lot of people going to be interested so until next time guys thanks for tuning in and i'll see you again very very soon and also tune in to my um twitch and youtube streams if you get a chance as well and if you want to ask any questions that's the best place until next time next time guys see you later